Hi guys, welcome to Savvy Money Show, me your host Sean. I'm sorry I haven't been posting as regularly as normal. Today's my birthday, so uh, if you want to give me a present, give me a subscribe and a thumbs up. I've uh, posted a couple of videos. I've been, I was asked to do my value stock ETF. And as I said at the beginning, I had to do it in three parts now is created via cash flow and income statement and traditional value metrics so let's get into it of course exxon mobile you can see here pays 4.81 percent dividend and with oil the way it is you can see market cap is under enterprise value by 266 billion to 318 billion forward p uh, under 11 price to sales of 1.1 price to book of 1.6 and chevron as well another oil company i know they're not favorite but at the moment oil is riding high i do think it'll go to 100 dollars a barrel another four percent dividend and again, market cap below enterprise value, 228 billion versus 259 billion. Forward PE of 12, price to sell 1.69, price to book 1.68. Now, Verizon, you have 210 billion market cap versus enterprise value of 378 billion. P under 10, forward PE under 10. Price to sales of 1.55, price to book 2.73. Now, thing is, I think they've sandbagged their guidance. They've underestimated their guidance for forward PE purely because they spent so much on the 5G, all right, which is a one time payment, and until 6G comes out they have going to be a massive beneficiary they've got most of the contracts on that and they are 4.79 percent dividend and i think it's this earnings isn't going to be the one it's going to be the next couple of earnings is i think it is one to hold don't forget to hit that lovely like button and don't forget the sexy subscribe button, a lot sexier than me, just ask the wife. And if you want to be a hero, hit the bell notification. You'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded. And why not check out the links in the description below. If you're looking for a free trading platform, you get a free share with up to 200 pounds, dollars, depending on the platform you use if you deposit a small amount. Now throwing in a couple of Chinese ones, because they are value stocks, I do not hold them all, I have held them. But, as I said before, Alibaba, at this price, uh, I would look at it again, and I said I would buy it at 100. Now, as a P of 18, as we can see, and but because of the Chinese government and what they're doing, sorry, but until things get sorted out, it's too much drama for me. Forward P of 12.5. Price to sales and price to book up just over two. And JP Morgan Chase. I know I think there was an overreaction with their earnings. I know they weren't the best, but their PE is under 10. Dividend of 2.69. I still think they're gonna double. And a price to book of 1.85. Wells Fargo. Now, this is one with 1.41% dividend, P of 11, and 4P of 13.8, price to book of 1.19. Comcast, a 2% dividend, 221 billion market cap versus 306 billion enterprise value, trailing PE of 15 versus forward PE of 13. 
1.99 price to sales and 2.31 price to book. Berkshire Hathaway. We had the Berkshire B, and now we've got the Berkshire B. 645 billion versus 696 billion enterprise value, market cap versus enterprise value. Trailing P under 8, forward P of 20. I don't think it's going to have a forward P of 20. I think it's going to smash this year. And I'm surprised they haven't started making acquisitions already. Price to sales 1.92, price to book of 1.37. Goldman Sachs, another bank. Now, you'll see it has a 2.3% dividend. P ratio of 5. And Ford P just under 10. Price to book of 1.35. Of course, Facebook. Now, this has come down. Uh, I said that if it comes down to 300, 280 to 300, I would scoop this up no matter what was going on with it because it would just be too good a value. At the moment, it's good value. 917 billion market cap against enterprise value of 871. Now, for this to come close to its enterprise value, you know, you rarely see a company like this. You have Ford P of 22.5. The amount of cash it has on hand now i know its traditional business is declining but the the money is putting in the metaverse and i think it will succeed i think there's only one other company that will Uh, do it. That is Amazon, and at three thousand, I think it's a steal. Uh, of course, you still have the rumours of a stock split, and you have uh, Google as well. They're the only two others I think will actually uh, challenge them. Now we're going to. Look at QIWI. It's trading at seventy percent below fair value. Its earnings grew by one hundred and fifty-two percent. Now, why did it grow? Because it had a one-off payment, and it's a uh, Estimated to decline by 2.4%. Why? Because it had such a huge one off payment, uh, it had such a huge year. And I think it is a company that, when you think about it, it has a P of 2. It has a gross margin of 41%. Of course, that margin is usually 14%. So, don't expect 41% every year. You are going to have a payments company that is very good, gives a 15% dividend. And the dividend is well covered you have the debt is long long term and short term debt is covered by the uh, short term uh, assets and it has a great balance sheet as you can see here what are risks because there are risks with any stock. Uh, that dividend there is wrong because it's come down so much. The dividend has gone up, but it doesn't. You don't get it till December. The, of course, they can cut the dividend at any time. Uh, there's plenty of things that can go wrong. 
Now, the first thing that can go wrong is you have, in fact, it's a Russian company. And the Rus- it's a Russian company that uh, could have sanctions imposed on it purely because Russia's invading and contemplating invading uh, Ukraine and the US are talking about uh, putting long-range missiles in Ukraine. Now, they have announced acquisition of Taxi Aggregator, as, which should shore up their uh, diversity. Their diver- sorry, their diverse uh, platforms. But I do still like this as a long term play. I think this is one that will come back. I I do think it is one worth holding. Now I do understand buying it closer to December, wanting to pick up more companies at the moment during a sell-off, and on discount, and then once you've uh, realised some of the profit on those discounted companies going into a company like this, but I do think this one should be on your watch list. I'm sure you heard that Peloton has uh, stopped producing bikes. Now they have an incredible churn rate, don't get me wrong. But what's going to happen once they, if they can't get new uh, customers in? They're just a software business. But software business with no new customers I, I understand their bike costs too much but I still think it's a bad position to be in they tried to grow too quickly and tried to take advantage of the pandemic which I don't blame them what I do blame them for was when they was at highs, they didn't use the position then to dilute and bring more shares on the market so they can make acquisitions then. Or at least bring in more money. And it's the sort of thing Elon Musk would have done. It's because he was, he was timing of fundraising was amazing. Now, I also said yesterday at 7 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time that the only thing that can save Peloton is selling NFTs, people working out on their bikes. And what happens? Nine hours later, they announce that's what they're doing. Anyway. If I've just created a new website, you'll find the link in my Discord. Uh, contact me if you need it. I will be posting it fairly soon. And have a nice weekend. I I hope you guys are doing well and. So- Surviving all the red and market at the moment. That's all for now. If you found any of my videos helpful and you want to help me make more, you can support me by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below.